Hi, my name is Abala Kuyate from Mali, uh, and I'm here today with my kid uh, performing for Ravels Connect, Musical Connection. And we really are honored to be here. Where I came from, the music where we play, not just entertaining people or performing for people, we recounted family history through the music. So this first piece I'm going to play is dedicated to my ancestor named Kuyate Fasa. The Kuyate, that's uh, my family name. So this first piece, my son Seku Kuyate going to start it. Thank you. All right. So the next piece is called Bani. Bani, like I mentioned earlier, it was dedicated to when we had this. I mean, it's just a make the people always are uncomfortable when you talk about the slavery. And it's happened. So as a jelly, we in the keep it of this uh, family history, and we also are the peacemaker in our society. So this is almost a dedicated one in slavery happened to let our people know how to say no. 
Iban. In the Madinga language, when he said Iban, say no. So this song was dedicated to let our people know to be aware, aware of that slavery because we all things in the humanity that was the wrong things to do. So this is song was dedicated to uh, folks in our society. Bali. And that song, my daughter is going to be playing in cello. Just here, Kuyati. Ready? One, two, two, one, two, three, go.
Thank you. Thank you. This next piece called My Eye Haglier. The reason why we even played this song, where I came from, we have a lot of proverb. We, when we speak to each other, there's a lot of proverbs, a lot of this time, it's just to remind the people who they are, where they came from. Because it's that we believe, you can only know where you're heading to if you know where you came from. So this is song, and the Mandinka language, or Bamara, we say Yiriba. Yiriba mean big tree. But when it's tell the people say big tree, this song is dedicated to the big tree. They be like, okay, why this song about the tree? It's not about the tree. It's about important, how important all tree is in a society because all tree represent all people in our society. Okay? When you have the big baobab tree or big mango tree, all of the bird, the animal, they all benefit from it, either from the fruit of the tree or the shade of the tree. So basically, that I'm saying, the old people in our society, we all have a lot to, uh, to learn from them. How important are old people in our society? To remind us how to respect our elders. So that's why this song is very important, called Yiriba.
Thank you. So this next piece is called Kulanja. Kulanja was dedicated to the hunter and in our society. And the Monday Empire, everything, everybody was a hunter at back of the day. Because of our people believe back then if he's not a hunter, he's not tough enough. So the whole Monday Empire society uh, started by hunting. So this song was dedicated to those uh, brave men and women who stand up for what is right, Kulanja. And this song, my daughters, Josira Kuyate, going to start this piece.
Thank you. All right, this is a piece called Jarabi in the Mandinga language, which means love. We all have someone to love. We love our parents, love our children, uh, we love our dogs. You know, we all always have someone to love. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this love song. And, but what I'm doing in here, because this is we in the 21st century, um, I'm using a lot of uh, kind of technology stuff here. Uh, I would have first balafon as well, uh, doing this kind of technical things is in the balafon, adding the looping and all that stuff to the balafon. Because you usually you will see like, uh, when you go to my village, you will see maybe 10 people or 15 or 20 lined up with this instrument, everybody playing. So I find a way. Uh, here in the U.S., adding that looping things to my balafon, so you guys can experience that in a minute. I have a looper here, so you're gonna, it's gonna sounds like it's uh, maybe three, four people playing together. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks again.
You've called Massachusetts home for 20 plus years, but you were born and raised in Mali, West Africa. Tell us a little bit about the family you were born into. I think people would be interested. I, I want you to tell us a, about how what's considered the very first balafone plays into that story and exactly what it is, you know, how did, before Sunjata, who was, there was this king, right? That was, tell that story about that transition to a more unified Africa? Before Sunjata, it was a Sumauru, Sumauru Kante. Sumauru Kante, and it was the uh, king of the Mani Emperor. So actually, to keep the long story short and to the new story, it's like where we, the, the, the life we live in today. Everybody wearing a mask, all right? So back in the uh, Sumauru Kante time, he was the king who was able to sort of put a mask on everybody's mouth, man and a woman. When I say mask, that's the name of the mask today. But then they say bara, like the gourd, the same gourd you see underneath my balafon. So nobody in the Monday Empire was allowed to speak without covering your mouth or with the gourd. So Samaru was so powerful. The balafon. It was his uh, tools to entertain himself. So he have this uh, the balafon, and this is uh, in the kingdom in his cage. So he go hunt, and then when he come back from hunting, he will play the balafon for himself. Okay, so back then nobody was allowed to touch that balafon. Even in a simple mosquito, you touch that balafon, it will find you to kill you. That's how crazy it was. That was how powerful he was. And then one day, my ancestor, which is a balafasege right now, but back then, he was not balafasege. He was a Nyangumandoga. That was his real, uh, real name at the time. So uh, to keep the long story short, Shunjata, when he was a uh, young boy, he sent my ancestor to go tell the Suma world we had enough of with this body behavior in our community. So he's going to rise. So then when my ancestor, uh, young went to Suma compound, he wasn't there at the time. Suma was a uh, hunting. So he had a, the bird called eagle. The, the, the eagle would go down and uh, grab the baby chicken, that, that, that eagle. So that was the bird who was guarding the, the balafon. Okay? So anybody, any human being come by, he won't allow you to touch that balafon. 
So when my ancestor came, Nyongu Munduga came, and they're trying to enter, and then the bird let him know that the uh, king is not, you know, round. He's just hunting, and it's not gonna allow him to uh, touch the ball of him or anything. So my ancestor was able to convince the bird come started playing in the balafon. Okay? When he started playing the balafon, Suma Oro hear that, whatever he was, he come back like as a, a, a volcano. You know what I mean? Said this is a genie or a human being. And my ancestor started uh, talking to him and flattering him. The idea about that, we, and in Africa, we have a lot of uh, proverb when we speak. So we said, no matter how sharp the knife is, the knife won't, won't be able to cut himself. It doesn't matter how sharp the knife is. The meanings behind that, it doesn't matter how bad you are, or it doesn't matter how good you are, it's always good for someone to tell you who you are than yourself being, you know, <laughs> flooding yourself. You see what I mean? So he was so impressed. He said, wow. So actually, you know, it's good to hear somebody talking about you than uh, you talking about yourself. And then he asked my ancestor, he said, what's your name? He said, my name is Nyangu And he said, okay, so you playing this instrument better than I do, even though I'm the one who the instrument belong to me. So from today, I'm going to give you that balafon, but I'm going to give you the, with a new name, Bala for Seke. And the Mandinka Bala, that's the balafon. For, play, Seke. Now. That's how we got Bala for Seke.
This last piece called Bala Folike. And I'd like to give special thanks to Rabu Connect to having me and my family here today. This has been such an honor. Um, here's in the Calabas of Seku Kuyate. And then um, on the Balafon, there, my daughter, Josira Kuyate. And I'm going to play this piece for you, uh, dedicated to myself. And thanks to it again, Rabu Connected to have us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ravel Connects, to have me and my family. <laughs> 